procedure. If you were lined up on that tight end in Vegas, what would you call that? Well, in Vegas, if that guy blocks down. Huh? You what? If that guy blocks down on the end in Vegas, what are you going to do? Are you going to be outside that fullback or inside that fullback? I get what you're saying. You're making it bounce to the outside, right? Right. So from now on, I'm going to call you, you're going to call that bounce. Okay, so if that guy blocks down, now I'm there. I'm going to stay tight off his hip, and I'm not worried about being outside of that fullback. Okay, because a Mike linebacker is going to be outside of that fullback. Plus, I got a cloud corner out there eventually. Okay? So anything happens over there, Thomas Brown, Bucks. I'm going to stay tight, and then eventually if they ran power pass and that guy kept going, now I'm just going to work outside with them. I'm going to stay inside of them, and that's going to take my eyes to one. But until that happens, I'm going to stay right on the hip of that tight end and not get any width. I'm just going to keep my hands on them, keep my hands on them. Now, if something makes me go, I let them go, and now I start working out to one. Okay? But I have no flat responsibility whatsoever. None. Okay? Over here, what are we playing? What's the will playing? Two to one. Wall two to one, right? What else does a will need to know? That if we get full action that way, what do you got to look for? Or whoever would come back from the other side. Okay? Because what happens if I'm a hardball corners and I get Stanley and I get full action away. Do you got to worry about anything coming from the other side anymore? What are you going to do now from your hardball? You're going to step in and clear the run then what can you do? You can go dog that guy, right? So therefore the will linebacker has got to take any trash coming from the other side. Okay? Will anything take us out of cover? What will take us out of cover two? We just said they have to do what to get us out of cover two? Huh? Break the core. So if they break the core to the solid side, what would the buck do? Adjust out. Are we going to play cover two out there? What would we play? What is... We would go to palms. What if they break the core to this side? What would we play? Palms. Okay? So let's let's do let's drop two different things, Thomas. They run power. It calls Frisco, and they run power. You get that. You get the fullback coming out to block you. Where are you going to take that? How are you going to take that on? What are you going to do? What is your run technique? So you're going to keep one arm free. Outside arm free, period. Nothing's getting outside of you, right? Why is that? What is that corner doing in that defense? If they just ran him off, and it, you got to make sure nothing gets outside of you, right? Because you might not have anybody out there. And if they run a post, you that guy might be getting used up, right? So all my run support is right in here. Okay? In cover two, is that the case there in Arizona? I got a guy outside of me. I got that corner sitting outside there. Even though he's playing cloud, he's still out there to help me in the run. So if they run power, what can I do now? Now I can bounce it inside, and we want to keep that ball bouncing outside because eventually we're going to pick up the corner and the safety. Okay? So when I so when you get that fullback's block now, what are you gonna do? Take it on underneath or are you gonna stay outside of it? Underneath. Underneath it. It means you're gonna bounce it outside. Alright. Okay? You understand that? Why why would you do that in Vegas? Right, because if he got blocks down, if he starts to block down and you react to that, 
And that guy just steps down and does that. Shoot the fucking cannons off. You know what I'm saying? So the reason why you stay down with them in Vegas and bounce in Vegas is because that's your man, period. Okay? So if that guy goes there, Thomas, and you're bouncing, what's your gap? Right here, right? D gap, right? So if they align like that, Thomas, then we G it. Or we don't, whatever we do there, okay? What's your gap? No, this is Arizona. And you're a bounce player, so where's your gap? Who are you relating to? Who, which is who? That parent, right? So who am I, what is my gap? If I'm bouncing, what is my gap? Huh? Right there, right? Still D gap. Okay. Do you really have a gap right there, Wells? You know, you 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 and the mic are really just flow into the ball. But why don't we take the stun off, Wells? Let me ask you that. If we had if we had pirate called, why can't we take the stun off right there? Because you guys are gonna alert what when you see that pair? Alert what? What are you going to be alert for? What? Sway. So if you took the stun off, you'd be in bad problems now if they ran sway because then you'd have a run pass conflict, right? So we leave that stun on. Okay? You guys understand that? Other than that, nothing really changes, guys. If that guy went out there, who would adjust to him? Will. Then he would do what? What would we play? Palms, period. Okay? Any questions about that? So once we call that stunt, pretty much we're going to run that stunt no matter what. It's going to be pop or pirate. Only thing, the only thing we got to be alert for is a possibility of maybe making a G call. Sometimes we will, sometimes we won't. We really don't have to as much in this defense. Why? Because we got a bounce player. But you do have, even if we didn't G it right there, Thomas Brown. Would you still play the same technique on that guy? If we didn't G it? Yeah, if we didn't G it, we were in a five. Would you play the same technique on him if this guy was aligned here than if that guy was aligned there? What would you do with your alignment? You'd line up inside of, just into his inside, right? And you'd play that gap. Because more than likely, who's going to block you? That guy's going to block you. Other than that, you wouldn't change shit. Okay? So you're going to be slightly tilted, Bucks, if it's a two-back set. If it goes to that kind of set, you're going to square your ass up a little bit and square up on that guy. Because that's my number one threat now. Okay? Let me ask you this, because we went through this the other day in Tampa. If they are lined up in that pair, and they ran two to the flat, and they ran a stick route, okay, would you chase that right away? What do you want to do? What do you want to make sure you do? Help who? Who has the hardest duty in this coverage? The mic, because he's got to take that number two, that, this vertical down the middle, right? So if you got two to the flat, would you be in a hurry to widen? You work straight back and you're clearing what route? Help him clear what route? What is that route called if that guy runs and breaks out right here? You'd help him clear the stick, and once he went through... Now I'd start to get with. But I would help him so he can overdrop it. He doesn't have to sit there and be aggressive on the stick route. I would work straight back, help him clear the stick. And once I do, then I'd start working for with. Because that flat route's going to who? To the corner. Okay? So is a buck, is this player, I'm not looking to get with real fast. I'm never going to get with real fast. I want to stay as tight as I can as long as I can. Okay? Everybody understand that? Okay. Any questions about Aaron, about those two defenses? Yeah? Say again? Who's the rat, who's got to always be the rap player in Pirate on Pass? 
the nose. Okay? Do we have to worry about that and pop? Who are we going to ask to contain that side and pop? The tackle is going to eventually work to the outside. But anytime we have pirate, anytime we're running a true pirate, we call pirate, the nose has always got to be the rap player and pass, period. Okay? We good there? Okay. What about slot? What does mix mean to us? Somebody said mix. Who's in the run fed? First of all, what do the corners do in this defense, Stanley? They travel. So who's in the run fed? So what is it? Remember I said in lock, remember we had a man side and a zone side, right? Is that the same thing in mix? So what does that mean for the buck? I got man on a tight end. So what does it mean your pass, your pass responsibility, your run responsibility is when you're man on the tight end? There you go. You're a bounce player. What does the mic mean? What does the mic have? First back his side. Okay. So, and you're playing what in the run? Huh? Oh, levers. Yeah, there you go. You're a lever player. What about the will? Huh? Spill and hook the three. So if run goes this way, if you get action that way, what are you basically playing from the, from there on out? Well, what is the exact same defense we have that you're playing right there? Frisco. No, it's not Frisco. What is the exact same defense if you get action that way? What are you playing for the rest of the down in essence? Something that we are we call all spring long. How about, because it's man, I said this is man over here, right? So on this side, if you get action that way, it's Vegas. Same defense. Because you got the second back there. Mike's got the first back. Buck's on the tight end. Okay? If you get any action that way, now you're a hook to three player. You're still spill. Okay? So let's say it's split action or just any action to the flex side. Where am I taking my attention, Wills, on the two back sets? To where? To the left. To the left. So who am I looking at? For what? You're going to check number. You're going to check the big, the number one threat, and that's that guy right there. Okay. What's the corner have? The corner that came over. What have we got going here? Possibly. What do you got to do? What is basically that corner? What does he have to? What do you have to do in mix, Jonathan? And I guarantee you don't know shit about this, so you don't know a lot about this. So let's talk this through, okay? What is your number one responsibility when you line up in this position? We talked about in lock, which is the same thing in mix. We're basically what three and a half on two, right? So, and this guy's going to be really aggressive because that's still just like Locke, right, Stanley? So we can be aggressive over there. So am I, th am I more concerned? Is my first run respond my first responsibility run or pass? There you go. So what kind of player are you if you're that corner? You a spill player or a lever player? No. Lever off of who? Who are we levering off of, Jonathan? No, when we say lever, who are we playing lever off of? Back. Which back? The fullback or tailback? Fullback. The fullback. That means lever off the fullback because we got an end here, a tackle here, a nose, an end. Okay? So what else do we have to do when we're over there? When we're in mix, what do we have to tell that three technique? Spike. Huh? Spike. Spike. Why are we doing that, Jonathan? There you go. You just said it. You're good enough. Okay, so if I get my lever key here, where am I going to be, inside or outside of that? Outside. There you go. Why? Because the real linebacker is going to be in there, inside. The end's here. The three techniques here. I'm outside of it. I'm inside of him. And the mic's in the beat. Now we got all our gaps covered. Okay? So... Let's say they do this, Jonathan. Let's say that fullback's a line there. Do I want to align 
tighter or wider? Wider. Where do you think the run strength is? Remember, I told you, you're in the run fit, and your number one responsibility is run. Where's the run strength? Where do you think they're going to run the ball more often than not? Away from you. And what play did I say, Vincent Valentine, the teams like to run out of near eye? Power. So if they go here and that guard pulls, who's got to, who's got to be able to help on the cutback? You do. Boom. Okay? So if now they align like this, and I'm thinking power. So now what's one other thing? Corners. Let's say they run stretch. And they do this. And the guard ain't pulling now. What do I take my attention to to see what I got to do? Who's going to tell me what I got to do? Corners. We talked about this with the buck. Think about yourself as if you were blitzing off the edge. Who would you take your attention to? The end. Because you guys are, this guy's spiking, right? And... If that guy climbs and the end goes off to, do I got to, am I even needed anymore? Is there any chance, is there even a gap for me to play anymore? No. But what if this end is going here and that guy wheels on him? Now do I have a gap? There you go. So if I see the guard doesn't pull, I get action away and the guard doesn't pull, just take my attention. If the end makes it off the end, boom, I'm thinking more pass now. Okay? If that end doesn't make it, or that tackle's spending time on the end, I gotta get in, because that ball might rip right back at me. Okay? Okay, so that, that handles the run. Now, let's say they went the far out. Would I be keying him, right? He's inside, hey, he's inside. I'm inside. If he goes there and the ball's going there, what am I gonna do, corner? Right, because that's my lever key, right? So if he's going here, even if that ball goes in there, I'm, I'm staying outside of my lever key because if Will's here, Mike's here. Okay? That's why that's my key. Plus, what, what else is that? If that guy goes wide, what is it also? Besides your run key, what does he become? What else is he? Because in mix, you guys are, you is a corner, you're playing what? You're playing, sort of, you're playing off a three. So you're basic, but if, let's say they both go away. Now what are you playing there, corner? Think about, you guys are the inside part of the palms now. You guys know how to play the outside part of palms, right? So now think about it like this. So if action goes away, if that guy goes to the flat, what's that corner got to do? There you go. What if the action goes away and this guy goes inside and he goes inside? What's that corner got to do? Stay where? Stay inside of two. What if they both go vertical? What's this corner going to do? Huh? You going to carry him? About 10 yards up, are you going to stay? Are you going to get inside or outside of that number two? Stay inside. There you go. That's basically the only things that could happen to you right there. Now let's get action to you. You're going to do the same thing that we just talked about with one exception. What will change, what's, you'll do the exact same thing you do there, except if number three goes to the flat, what do you got to do? You got to take him. And who's going to replace me now? The Will Backer. Simple as that. You just answered, you just... That's it. That's all you got to worry about in that technique. This is what I got run-wise. This is what I got pass-wise. I'm going to play that curl, and I'm going to play off a two until a number three takes me to the flat. Simple as that. Okay? We good there? Let's say they lined up in a slot trips. Boom. Does that change me at all? Huh? What's my gap now? Huh? Right, because there's my lever key, right? So I'm already in this gap. Does that change anything I'm doing pass-wise except for what? Except you got to know what? My number three, rather than being in there, 
He's right there, so you better. I gotta see if he goes flat right now. I gotta take him. I got a th I got a number three threat that's right close to me now. When he's here or here, that's a lot easier, right? Correct. When he's here, I gotta be a little bit more cautious. That guy might try and get on get flat on me real fast. Okay. Everybody good there? Any questions about lock? What about, let's talk about, I said that if this guy steps this way, because we screwed this up some during the spring. I said if that guy goes, if they both go that way, what are we playing over there? Vegas. So if they go ahead and they align in a pair, who's got that guy? Where's a will going to line now? Huh? What gap does the, the will have now when the mic's there? No. Look at that. The B, because we spiked it. Remember I told the corners that if that guy's all the way over there, I'm going to cheat in a little bit because I got to get that. I got to make sure I get to that A gap. Okay. And what am I going to alert across the board? Sway. Okay. So if I alert sway, that means something to the corner too, right? Yeah. And if I alert sway, I know... I'm going to key through to this guy because I know I've got that B-gap corners. I got this B-gap, Wills, unless that guy goes. And if he's going to go, he's going to go when? Right now. It's going to happen right now. So I'm going to key. So if I see that guy start to sway, corners. Am I even, what do I do now? That's just my number three coming to the flat. That's my guy now. Will bumps, Mike goes here, we're good. But it sure helps if we communicate it from here to here to here, right? So we're all looking at the same thing. We all good there? If this guy's in this position, is that really much different? We still want to key through there to that guy, because through the guard to that guy, because power or sway. Good, we good there? We understand that? Those are the two number one things you're going to get. So if you put them up here, it's really not much different. Even if he starts moving, same thing. I'm keying through the guard to that guy. Because if he's going to sway, he's going to sway right now. And then it's a down off for me as a corner. Because it's either going to be sway boot, or it's either going to be belly sway, or it's going to be boot. One or the other. So I'm going to stay outside of that guy regardless. Okay? Does everybody understand that? The back end, the two safeties in the left and the corner outside on number one. Is that is mix any different than lock? Same thing, right? Same ass. It's a beautiful thing about this defense is there's a lot of same ass. Okay, we good there? So we good on Frisco in Arizona. Okay. That takes you through basically the five defenses. Well, let's talk about this. I want this, Harvey, last thing. If we have a two-back set and we call Arizona and they give us Y flex, what would we do over here? Do we have to do anything with the run fit? All we would have to do is decide... Do we want to play palms over here, or do we want to stay cover two? And you know what? We would probably tell you what to do there by game plan. Do we think that buck could, if we, I'll put it this way. If they went wide flex and we wanted to stay cloud over here, would we still give the mic that vertical? Huh? Who would we give that vertical to? So we would just play, you would just back off on this guy and play wall two to one. If he went through, you'd just carry him through like you would nickel. If we thought that this guy was uh, uh, Antonio Gates, what would we do over here? Palms. So we might go to Palms. If we felt good about that matchup, you could stay cloud. Why? Because our run integrity in the defense didn't change. Okay? We understand that? We all good there? So, we've been through Pittsburgh, Camden, Tampa, Arizona, Frisco. 
when you really break it down, guys, your techniques and your rules aren't much different one defense to the next. Our adjustments aren't that much different one defense to the next. Okay? All it is is our initial alignments. Okay? Let's, if we, I'm just going to tell you guys, I want you guys to tell me conceptually. I'm going to put the defenses up here. What kind of run fits do we have? So run. It's a flow read. Who, who's in the flow read? Until what happens? What if they What if they give us Y flex? Now who's in the read? And the, who's in the flow read? The will and who? Is a free safety still in the read? Yes, he is. Okay. Tampa, who's in the run fit? Solid side corner. Okay. Uh, three techniques. J guy, because you were sitting here for. What's the difference? How's the three technique playing different in Tampa as opposed to Pittsburgh? Tampa's a heavy uh, hit before. Uh, there you go, heavy. And there we're playing a regular three. Okay. Camden, run fit. Huh? Flex side, hard ball corner, right? So flex side. Okay, Frisco. All right, let me ask you this. Camden. Are we playing heavy in Camden? Do we have to play heavy in Camden? No. Right, Toby. So we're playing a regular three. Okay, Frisco. Who's in the run? Where are we getting the run fit from? Flex side safety. We playing heavy there, Vincent? Yeah, we're heavy right there, right? Arizona, where are we getting the run, sit, run fit from? Flex corner. What are we doing? If, what are we always going to call that? What are we going to have in that one, Toby? Pop or a pirate. We know why, right? We understand that. Could call it with a heavy, but that would put a lot of pressure on that three technique, right? Okay, but we know, you know, if what if we did call, what if I called Arizona heavy, Toby? If you were the three technique, what would you do with your alignment? Because you know the issue. Damn right you would, right? That's smart, because you, you get it. You understand what the issue is, right? Okay? Okay? Now, one thing I didn't cover, in Arizona... What, what would take us out of cover two to the solid side in Arizona? What, what, what would they do over there? Form of what? If we went to cluster, Thomas Brown, if we were in Arizona, and I know I'm splitting that outside leg of that guy, and I'm playing bounce, and Charles Jackson said, hey, cluster, 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 what defense am I playing there from now on out? What would I do with my alignment, and what am I playing then from there on out? Huh? So talk to me. Tell me. Tell me. If I if I'm sitting there and I'm in Arizona and I see that guy coming down and they say cluster, what am I going to do with my alignment? Back up. Back up? Would I back up? Or would I just move where? Just widen out a little bit. Widen out a little bit. So now what defense am I playing? Huh? It is exactly like it is Frisco for you. Because all cluster is is putting us in the cover four. So once I once you hear cluster Thomas in Arizona, and you already know how to play Frisco, it's the same defense. I'm still I'm playing first to the plat and I'm playing force now. If they didn't cluster it, I'm still going to play what against the run. There you go. So I can align. So my alignment means something to me. My alignment also brings my technique into play. Okay? On the same respect, I shouldn't even have to call. So if I go Vegas, if I call Vegas, 
What are we always going to play Vegas as long as they give us what? A what set? Huh? You said it. You said it. Huh? Well, we're going to call the, you're going to still play it if it's a slot set, right? Pro or slot, does that make a difference in Vegas? Harvey? How you guys play? How the safeties play? Corners are always going to do what in Vegas? Match up. Are you ever going to be in a run fit when you match up? No, corners are out of it. So, pro, slot, it doesn't make a shit to us. We're always going to play Vegas as long as it's a core set. What's a core set mean to you, Charles? When I take, when I drop a, a, when I drop a formation, bro, and there's a tight end, and there are two wide receivers, okay? To, for it to be a core set, does it matter? I told you, pro or slot don't matter. So you take that guy and take that guy. It doesn't matter whether they both line over here or they line one on each side, okay? That doesn't make a shit to us in Vegas because all we're worried about is what happened in here, okay? So you take that four. As long as a core set is where? As long as one, two, those three, as long as these two backs are within the core, where, where is that? Within what? Is that still a core set? Yes. Is that still a core set? Yes. If I put that fullback out there, is that a core set? No. So as long as it's a core set, in Vegas, the Buck, that guy's out of it. Buck's got him. So the Mike, Will, and Free Safety got these two guys, as long as they're, they're going to stay aligned in the core, okay? So if he aligns here, we bump to it. We got him. If he aligns here, boom, we got him. We got those guys. It doesn't matter pro, slot, anything else. Our gaps, our alignments, our pass responsibilities, everything's going to take us to our gaps. So we have those, those guys, okay? So that means a buck is playing what versus a run, Thomas? Bounce. Now, if they align, once they align in the core, even if they motion out of the core, who's responsible for those guys? Huh? They motion out of the core. Once they align in the core, who's responsible for those guys? The Mike Will and free safety, right? If they align in an out of core set, who's got them now? The safety's going to take them. So once they align in an out of core set, we're out of it. And we're good. So who would have the remaining back? Huh? Backers. And the run fit is exactly like what? For the Mike and the Will. The Mike, the Will, and the free safety. What are, we, what are the run fits exactly like? What defense have we gone over that it's like? It's like Frisco, except for what? The free safety is down, down closer now. He can be more aggressive because it's man-to-man. -man. What's the other difference between the run fit in Vegas as opposed to Frisco? Oh, uh, Frisco, I'm on outside. And I'm on left, You're what kind of player in Frisco versus a run? Force You're a force player versus a run in what? Versus Vegas in uh, Arizona, I'm a power player. Right. There you go. So if we go Jersey, what is that like run fit wise? Huh? Who's in the run fit in Jersey? Huh? For the free safety, what's the free safety's run fit in Jersey? What's it like except it's a different front? It's a flex side run fit. So it's sort of like what? Pittsburgh when you're in the fit, right? But it's exactly like Vegas except you're levering to a different gap. It's exactly the same defense, except you're levering to the B gap instead of the A gap. Okay? In Jersey, what's it like for the linebackers? Huh? Exactly like Camden, except for who? Except for which linebacker? Huh? No. It's exactly the same for the Buck and Camden. What's the Will linebacker? What is he in Jersey? Are you the force player? You're the force player in Camden. What are you in? What are you? Now you're bounce. 
There you go. Everything else you learned, you already know. Now, it's just now the Will Linebacker, instead of playing force in Jersey, he's bounce. So I know that if my guy blocks down, I'm going to squeeze him, and I'm going to play underneath any fullback that comes my way. Everything else is the same. And I know it's bounce because I know I got that guy in man coverage. Okay? So any of these three defenses, linebackers, what am I doing? Who am I relating to? Am I relating to anybody different in, in Pittsburgh and Tampa and Camden? Any different than I would in... Am I, are they, are they, they, am I relating to different... Are my keys different from one defense to the next? So in all three of these defenses, any over defenses... My, my thought process, who I transition my, my initial keys, who I transition my eyes to, it's the same in all three of those defenses. Every single one is exactly the same. Frisco, is that any different? It's all the same. What changes from there is what my pass responsibility is. And that tells me whether I'm playing inside, outside, whether I'm bounce, and all the other things that come into play. But as far as where my initial keys are and where I transition my eyes to, the boom, boom, the first two things that happen in the first few split seconds of every play is exactly the same in every defense. And that's no different for you corners and safeties. If I'm playing a half, and all this other stuff about who the fits are, But if I'm playing a half, I'm playing a half. If I'm playing a cloud, I'm playing a cloud. If I'm playing quarters, I'm playing quarters. All that stuff's the same. And the same things are going on up front. Who my eyes on, who I'm trans, how I'm playing, my initial keys, all that's the same. If I'm playing a three, I'm playing a three. If I'm playing a heavy, I'm playing a heavy. Doesn't matter what front it is, whether it's over, under, or anything else. All those things are the same. It's all same as. But I can tell you this, if my eyes are back there, I have no chance. This will help you get lined up, understand what your responsibilities are. Then you let your responsibilities and your techniques carry your eyes throughout the play and carry what you do. But you got to understand this stuff top to bottom. Okay? You want to know Vegas. The reason why we do this, really, guys, is Vegas, Arizona, and Frisco. They're all basically the same run sets. The only difference is in Arizona, it's a corner. As far as, a, and, you know, it's all pretty much the same, especially for the Mike and the Will, right? Just your pass responsibility is different. And over... You know, you basically have similar run fits right on through. But you got to know it inside. You, you got to think it through. You got to understand what the issues are. Okay? Everybody understand that? Now, D line, we, when we get back here on Wednesday, same time, right? Best time. We will get into flex side and strong side zone dogs I will cover I will hit a little bit for the for you secondary guys a little bit after Vegas and Jersey um, and how it relates to Cat and Felix on Thursday but we're gonna yeah. we'll hit zone dogs quickly on uh, we'll go, we can go through that on Wednesday and nail that knock that right on out okay does anybody have any questions about what we've talked about there Is, is it clear? It's pretty clear when you kind of... What I want you guys to think of is now do you know the adjustments. Is the key is this. 
when you look at these different sets is, okay, if I'm over here and I'm on this side, or this is, or this is where I'm aligned, what is my initial key and what is my, where, where, am I, where are my eyes going to be when the ball is snapped, then where am I going to transition my eyes to when my key goes one way or the other? Does that make sense to you guys? Does that make sense to you, Charles? Because once you understand that, the game is simple. I can get you lined up. I can get you to understand all this stuff. But if I can't get you guys to put your eyes where they need to be and you guys understand where your initial targets are, it doesn't matter what you know. And that requires a lot of discipline. Let me say that again. Because I've seen guys get cut in the NFL because they wouldn't do it. It requires discipline. To say, this is my technique, and that technique ain't changing. That's always going to be my target. If I'm a half player, my eyes are always going to be on one. If I'm a will linebacker, I'm going from here to here. I'm always transitioning from my lever key to my tight end. doesn't matter. Every single time. And that's got to be, you guys got to put you, it sounds easy. But you guys just went through spring ball and saw the amount of times that it was just you're, you were drifting and your eyes were they were not where they were supposed to be. That's something you got to put yourself through over and over and over. And if you have questions about, okay, where when I'm aligned out here, that's fine. Where are my eyes? Then where are my eyes going to go from there? And pretty much, fellas, by your technique, that's all predetermined. We all on the same page? All right, gentlemen, see you guys Wednesday. Appreciate your time. Okay, we talked about... Uh, hey. Yeah. Hey, listen. On Friday. You were driving to get behind me. If they're not here, you're the one your job is something. Period. And so, do you three, if you need help getting them, you tell them. But it's your job, your job, your job. The only people that are going to be held accountable are you three. Okay? Bison, back up. He's got a, he's a immunization shot or something. He said what? Some, uh, immunization, like, immunization shot or something like that. So he's not going to be able to make it. Is that what you said? He had community service. He's taking it off. Not about that. Uh, Thomas Brown is, he won't be working out with the football team until further notice. He's out. He's done. So don't worry about him. This is for grown men, not people like him. So, until till he shows he's a grown man, that's when he can come back. Until then, he, he ain't allowed to work out. He ain't even allowed in this building as far as I'm concerned. We all on the same page there? Alright. Where's Harvey Jackson? Oh, I just to you. you guys, gentlemen, this is this is what we're is this a commitment to being a good football team? Good defense? This is what it is. What did we talk about the other day? We talked about um we, we are playing Vegas. We're going to play Vegas. How, however, when we play Vegas, what is it? Strong or weak rotation? It's a weak rotation. So he's coming down into the box. Okay? So who? once we make the solid call, who has the tight end? Will that ever change? No. That's, so that guy is on him. And he's playing what kind of technique, Bucks? What is that technique called? What did we talk about the other day? It's a bounce technique. Okay? I Meaning he's going to squeeze that tight end and he's going to be underneath any out block. Okay? So if you get a mean bounce meeting, if that guy comes there, you're going to stay down on your down tight end and you're not levering it. You're staying underneath that block. You're bouncing it to the next man, who in this case would be who? The Mike Linebacker. Okay? So, but I said we would play Vegas, meaning 
Bucks on the tight end, and these three guys have the two remaining guys, no matter what, uh, until they do what? Until they align in what kind of set? What would get us out of Vegas if they do what? If they align with somebody out of the court, right? If they align with somebody out of the court, who has that guy? The safety. So if he aligns out, if the fullback aligns out there, the strong safety has him. And if he aligns out of the core this way, the free safety has him. Okay? Are those rules any different than what we call Jersey, other than it's a different front? But Jersey, who has a tight end? The Will linebacker. So if I went ahead and I just put this into an over front, and now I said, okay, we're playing Jersey, it's still weak rotation. The free safety is still in the box. The only difference is, is we're in an over front, and now the Will linebacker is covering the tight end and playing bounce. Okay? Everybody good on that? Same rules as far as we play Jersey until they align in an open one back set. Okay? Everybody good there? Everybody understand those rules? Courtney, you understand that? Okay, now let's talk. Let's go back to the under front now. And let's talk about Cat. Okay? Are the, are the run, is the run support any different in Cat than it is in, in Vegas? Okay, we talked about Vegas. It's weak rotation, right? Cat, where, where's a cat? When we make a cat call, what's that mean to the front? Okay, so let's say we make a, uh, it means under, but if we make a right call, what's it mean to the, to the D-line? Say again? Pirate on this side, what about this side? What's a nose doing? Huh? Getting to the B gap. Getting going here. We'll get a pirate going here. What about the solid side five technique? Uh, but can you do what? You can be a little bit more up the field oriented. It's a gap. You can you can get play your gap. You can be more aggressive in your five technique. Okay, you can get up the field. Okay, because you got a lot of shit coming on this side. You got a lever player, a fast flow linebacker, and a corner coming off the edge. Okay. What what are cat rolls? What does it mean for the what are the line? Wait, when I say cat rolls, okay, linebackers have cat rolls. What does that mean? What do you guys have? What do you guys have in coverage? And who? Our three. We have three linebackers on the field. What do we got to handle? The back, the two backs, and the two tight end. There are two backs and the tight end, or if it was twelve, two tight ends and the one back. So is it much different than Vegas for you? It's basically the same defense, okay? Except now you have stunts happening in front of you, and but you guys, as long as they align in an open set in a core set for the rest of the down, you guys align to your coverage, and you have those three guys, okay? So if they align out there. The Mike lines out there, Buck stays on his guy, Will has him. If they motion across, the Will bumps back, the Mike bumps back to the to the back. So regardless, even if they were to motion out of the core, the corner would stay on, the Will would take his break. If they were to motion a line in a two back set in motion solid, the cat would stay on and the Mike would bump out and take his guy. So once they align in a core set and the cat is on, you linebackers have those have the three remaining guys regardless of where where they end up. Okay? So when the uh they already aligned out the back line play without checking the wheel and that Well like I said, as long as they align in a core set, okay, I'll get to if they align in an out of core set. Okay, so knowing that we got those, let's say they line up like that or like that, what do we have to be especially alert for, linebackers? Huh? 
sway. Because something happens here, or he sways here. We can't just be lined up with our eye. That guy's more of a threat to us than that guy. So if I'm the Will linebacker, and he's in a pair, or he's in a near-eye set, I better be cross keying into that guy. Okay? Those guys are our responsibility. Secondary, we're coming. Okay? We're coming, and the free safety will handle the first guy, the first guy removed to the flex side, because that's who's blitzing. Okay. Go ahead. Hey, it, it, it still stands? The catch still be appealed? We're going to start that way, yeah. We're going to start that way, but we have the right to, obviously, we can take that off at any time. And it's more because of what we're getting from our offense in a gun set, okay? If it is a two-back set, you ain't thinking, you know, if it's a two-back set, basically who you're peeling is something that does that right now. Comes really wide, real fast. If something, if something's like that, we ain't peeling that. We ain't peeling a fullback. You're just peeling a tailback, and basically that's going to happen when in gun. Okay. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. I don't want you to concern yourself with that right now. Okay. Um, now let's talk about what gets us. So once we call cat, we're always once we make a right or left call, the D the D line that. Ain't